Hey everybody, so welcome to another episode of Roto's Questions. And today I want to talk about something that's really dear to my heart and something that's been in the public eye a lot recently. And it's about the whole immigrant and refugee situation that's been going on. I had to address this issue because I've been seeing a lot of hate and anger and fear aimed at immigrants and refugees lately. And quite frankly, I'm pretty embarrassed to say that I'm Canadian recently. Because, you know, Canada was built from immigrants. So what I want to talk about today is that immigrants and refugees are not the problem. They're some of the hardest working people in this country and they contribute greatly to it. And in, in fact, they're actually the definition of what it is to be Canadian. So there's a few points that I want to get across today. First off, I'm going to talk about me and my family and how we fled El Salvador and we're actually immigrants ourselves. And then I'm going to talk about myself a little bit and kind of a little bit about me, my background and what I'm about. And then I just want to talk about how immigrants are some of the hardest working people I've ever met. So to start off with me and my family, we came to Canada in 1987. We fled El Salvador because of the civil war. This was a war that lasted for over a decade and tens of thousands of people were killed. Tens of thousands of people were disappeared and never seen again. In fact, I was named after my uncle who has disappeared before I was born and never seen again. So that's where I got my name from. Another uncle was killed. My grandma barely survived. Both my grandpas were dead before I was born. You know, so I've lost a lot to civil war, the war in El Salvador, and that's why my parents brought us here. That's why my family's here, because we, they brought us here so that we could do something with our lives and we didn't have to grow up in that kind of environment. And I'm very grateful for them doing that. So growing up, my mom, when she came here, she, she was a single mom. She raised us on her own and she had three jobs, three jobs for an immigrant woman. She had three jobs. She's one of the hardest working women I've ever met. So when she came here, we came here with nothing, literally nothing. She had to learn English. She had to educate herself because the education she had in El Salvador doesn't count for anything here. So she learned English, educated herself, all while having three jobs and raising three kids. That's the definition of what it is to be Canadian. My sister, my twin sister, is one of the smartest people I know. She has dedicated her life to helping and saving animals. She's a doctor of veterinary medicine. That's pretty impressive for a woman and especially for an immigrant woman. My older sister is in banking and she's very successful at what she does. And she's doing a lot of things that women haven't done in her profession. And especially again, immigrant women. And right now she's all about spreading the Christmas joy. That's all she's talking about, Christmas this, there's this many days left for Christmas. And she just spreads that joy and it's very contagious. So it, it's fair to say that my family, my sisters and my mom are very hardworking people. They're educated and they're doing everything they can to contribute to Canada and help Canadians make their lives easier and better. So moving on to myself and a little bit about me. You know, obviously I've had a, a rough past for anyone that knows me. I haven't been a saint, but really, who is? Nobody. And just recently in the last few years, I've dedicated my life to spreading information and knowledge and teaching people about issues that they don't teach you in school. And my aim in that is just to make the world a better place, give people the proper information they need in order to make informed decisions. That's all I'm trying to do. And I've done a lot of personal development work on myself, making myself a better person. And I've also been helping people on their own journeys to make themselves better. So anyone that's trying to make themselves better or make the world better, I'm down with you. And if you need my help, that's what I'm here for. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm dedicating my life to. And something I'd also want to share, even though we fled a war-torn country, a country that saw all kinds of terror, 
people getting killed every day, people getting disappeared every day, you know, death squads roaming the country and just massacring people. All kinds of stuff that people would never ever want to see, that no one should ever have to experience. Not once have I ever thought of becoming a terrorist. Not once have I ever, have I ever thought about blowing some shit up. Not once have I ever thought of terrorizing the community and starting some shit like that. Not once. In fact, I'm quite grateful to live in Canada and have the opportunity to do something with my life. And that's exactly what I'm doing. So moving on to talking about some of the people that I've met while I've been here in Canada and all the years I've been here. I want to talk about a lot of the immigrants that I've met who are just hardworking people, loving people who will go out of their way to help anyone. So I've had multiple jobs, obviously, and I've met tons of immigrants at these multiple jobs. They're very hardworking people. I used to work one job that was from 4.30 in the morning to 1 in the afternoon. 12 out of the 14 people that worked there were immigrants. And this was not an easy job. It was very physical, very dirty. And then a lot of these people would go to another job after that job. Why? Because they have families to support. They're sending money back home to support families there. And they always showed up to work, to work hard. So these people were just are doing it all, never complaining, just doing as much as they can because they have a lot of people to support. One of the guys I work with right now has two jobs. He's done work at 2.30 and then he goes to his, his next job. So these people aren't out here causing problems and stuff. They're working hard because they want to support the people that they love. A lot of them are doing the jobs that no one else wants to do. Like I said, that one job I talked about where 12 out of the 14 people were immigrants, it's because nobody here that's from here wants to do those jobs. Like I said, it's very dirty, it's very physical. Someone's got to do it. You know, These people make the country run. They're doing everything that everyone else doesn't want to do. And they do it because they have people to support. They have people they love and they want to support all these people to make everyone else better and make their lives easier. They're willing to make that sacrifice if it means someone else's life, life is going to be easier. So these people have a very strong sense of community. They stick together and they also like to help out the people around them. They're always willing to help. That's one thing I've noticed about Canadians and immigrants because let's, let's keep it real here. Most Canadians are immigrants or descend from immigrants. Let's just face the fact. It doesn't matter what color you are. Most of the Canadians in this country are immigrants. So, and a lot of these people have come here to get away from terror. Their countries are war torn and whatever. They're not coming here to start it. They came here to get away from that kind of life, from that, from those kinds of situations. That's what they're doing. They're not coming here to start some shit. They're coming here to make better lives for themselves, make better lives for the people around them, and to send money back home so that those people back home that are still in those kinds of situations can have a better life so that they can have some hope as well. So just to conclude, like I said, immigrants and refugees are not the problem. This country would not be the great, beautiful nation it is today if it were not for immigrants. They contribute immensely to the building, maintenance, running, and cleaning of the country. They work hard and are always willing to help out. They are not terrorists. They have been terrorized and they've come here to live better lives. So I just want to end with this. So if you got a problem with immigrants and refugees coming to this country and you don't have indigenous blood running through your veins, maybe it's time you go back where you came from. So thanks everybody for watching. Stay free physically, mentally, and spiritually, and I'll catch you guys next time.